I'd like to welcome you to our topping ceremony for the new and approved campus of Brooks Museum's Magnet Elementary School. We are excited that you have chosen to join us in marking this moment in the construction of our new school building, a place that will house an amazing community of learners and those that will teach and guide as we grow together. We will now begin our ceremony with a greeting from Anna Williams, president of the Brooks Museum's Magnet Elementary School PTA. <laughs> Good morning. I bring greetings from the Brooks Museum Magnet Elementary School PTA. My children have been a part of the Brooks team for five years. We love Brooks because of the phenomenal team of educators and the innovative programming. While the staff, students, and families are the heartbeat of Brooks, we are confident that this beautiful new facility will serve to only further enhance our children's creative learning. We can't wait to begin in August in our brand new space. And now I'd like to welcome Brian Conklin. Good morning, we have a beautiful day, don't we? Yes. Um, my name is Brian Conklin. I'm a senior director with the design and construction department with uh, Wake County Schools and we welcome you this morning, beautiful occasion. Uh, we have a number of people uh, to thank and recognize for their, for their role in the process here of building this tremendous school, uh, rebuilding this tremendous school, right? Uh, first, we recognize uh, the Wake, Board, Wake County Board of Commissioners, Sig Hutchison, Chair, and uh, their representative John Burns is with us and Greg Ford, I believe, so. Uh, we also recognize Board Chair for uh, Board of Education, Monica johnson Hassler, the Wake County Board of Education. We have with us several of our board members, uh, Lindsay Mahaffey, Don Agee, Roxy Cash, and Chris, Christine Kushner, and they're back here. All right, and uh, we also have representatives from the companies that design and are building our school. So I'd like to introduce you to the design team, and they're here, Nick Lash, and you folks from Mosley Architects in the back. So. All right, and now to our builders. It's a joint venture between Jordan and Bordeaux, so it's the Jordan Bordeaux Construction Company. So with those representatives, Blair Jordan. And also members of our staff that work diligently every day to uh, to work and make sure that we have excellent schools and uh, uh, meet the, uh, the the direction that we need to take as a school system. And uh, our project manager on this happens to be Chris Ford, and he lives in a house right over there. <laughs> we have facility planners that work with our academics team and all, and uh, Marcella Rory and Sherry Green are here representing the facility planning team. So with that, I'd like to welcome the principal of Brooks Museum Magnet Elementary School, Miss Felicia Lockley. I didn't want to trust myself with that big hop up. How's everybody? We're so glad to be here. This has like been a dream for a long time for us. We've been talking about Brooks and the new school and those that have been with me for a long time. Uh, we've been doing talking about this since about 2006 when we thought we were gonna be in that earlier bond that we got cut from. And so finally it has actually happened and we are just so excited. We come by here, I come by here quite a lot and it's just amazing to see the work that they're doing and the facility that our children are gonna be able to come back to and learn. Uh, learn in, they can't believe this is their same school. Um, they wonder what happened to the playground and is there a playground on the other side? So I assured them that everything that they need will be here. So we're so glad to have the children from Brooks to be able to be here today and some of our staff who are in our blue Brooks staff shirts. Um, they're the people who actually do the work every day 
and they join me in being excited about here being in this building too. We want to thank all those people who actually uh, made the um, agreement and um, designed this building and made this all come to life for us. And um, we are so excited for August to get here for us to move back into this building. Um, in just a little bit, you're going to hear from two of our Brooks students, um, Gavin and Mayana. They're going to talk to you about what they're excited about and what being in a museum's magnet new school means to them. And then we're going to hear from a really special person, Brett Brown, who's a third grade teacher at Brooks, and she's a former student at Brooks also. So we'll hear from her also. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Gavin and Mayana. At Brooks Museum's Magnet Elementary School, we learn through integrated units of study and hands-on projects. Our teachers plan these units to include the study-guided trip to local museums and historical sites. My favorite was when we went to the Capitol and Legislative Building. We learned who worked there and the history of it. At Brooks Museum Magnet Elementary School, we practice speaking and listening through Padilla seminars, where we learn to have we learn how to have an academic conversation with each other. We also do coach projects, where we express where we can express what we learn in a creative way. Right now, in fourth grade, we are learning about animal adaptation. For our coach project, we have to create an animal with physical and behavioral adaptations. For example, if you combine a wolf and a giraffe together, you have to get adaptations from the wolf and you have to get adaptations from the giraffe to create a whole new animal. I would like to introduce Ms. Brown. <laughs> too tall for this. <laughs> um, good morning, I'm Breck Brown and as a former student and now teacher at Brooks, I'm excited for a new building and new opportunities for our students and their families. While it will be a fresh start in many ways, I'm thankful for the memories that we'll be bringing with us. <coughs> this school has been a home for so many of us over the years and I know that it will continue to be that way for many years to come as we settle into this new beautiful space. A couple of weeks ago, a large white beam was brought to our temporary campus for all students and staff to sign. Um, when the beam returned to the construction site, the construction workers signed their names as well. It's over there. Um, I'm so happy that the names of both our students, staff, and the names of the construction workers will be on this beam as a reminder of the caring hard work that has gone into building this new school home. Thank you so much, Mr. Warren. and. Um, Jordan Bordeaux Construction for all that you have done um, to make this our new school home. So now we're going to get to what we really came here to see, which is to see this beam that we signed get lifted up into the air. Um, I think we're going to also take a photo with some of the um, um, Bordeaux, Jordan Bordeaux construction crew. So if my boys and girls will um, hold on and wait for some directions, we're going to do a photo and we're going to get ready to raise the beam as we get ready to take another stage in getting ready for our building. Thank you all for being here.